You need to know and understand your right to access your health information and medical records. This short educational video includes key information to help you better understand your right to see and get your health information, including information on associated fees, forms, and how long it could take to get your records. Your right to access or see and get a copy of your health information is regulated by a law known as the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act of 1996, or HIPAA for short. HIPAA is designed to work for you. To be closer to her family, Hannah is moving from New York to California in one month. To prepare, Hannah schedules an appointment to see her primary care doctor of 10 years, Dr. Allen, one last time before she leaves. At the visit, Hannah excitedly tells Dr. Allen the good news about her move, but also mentions that she's worried about having to change her primary care doctor and making sure her new doctor has all the information about her health care for the past 10 years. During the exam, Hannah asks Dr. Allen if she can have a copy of her health information or medical record so that she can bring the copy to her new primary care doctor when she moves. Dr. Allen stores her patient's health information in an electronic health record, and she lets Hannah know that she can access much of her medical records online to see and save her information at any time and at no cost. She can also send certain portions of her health record to someone else. Because not all of her health information can be accessed online, Hannah asks Dr. Allen if she can get a copy of the most important parts of her record sent to her via email. Dr. Allen tells her that she needs to fill out a form to request copies and that there is a fee for this type of request. There are many options available to you to see and get your records. You have a right to get your information by email or as a paper copy through the mail, for example. Your doctor also may have a way for you to access parts of your records online for free through a web-based portal. Your doctor must try to provide you with access to your records in the format you prefer, online or on a thumb drive and if they can't, they must work with you to find a format that is acceptable. Hannah sighs from relief and leaves the office to move on to the other preparations she needs to make for her cross-country move to California. To see and get her health information online through Dr. Allen's electronic record system, Dr. Allen's staff informs Hannah that there is a limited fee for electronic copies by email and informs Hannah of the approximate fee she will be charged. Dr. Allen's staff also briefly explains to her that sending her health information to an unsecure email account could place her information at risk of being read or accessed by someone else. Hannah informs Dr. Allen's staff that she still wants her information sent to her private email account, so the staff lets her know that she will receive her information by email at the email address she gave them as soon as possible, but no later than 30 days from today. Hannah sighs from relief and leaves the office to move on to the other preparations she needs to make for her cross-country move to California. Notice of approximate fees to be charged for health information requests must be provided upfront at the time of the request, regardless of where or how your health information is stored. Fees must be fair and be limited to costs, supplies, and postage needed to create and deliver the copy in the format requested or agreed to by you. Fees to search for and retrieve your health information are not permitted. Also, if your health records are stored electronically, per-page fees are not allowed. You have the right to get copies of your health information within 30 calendar days in most cases. However, your doctor or hospital should be able to provide your information sooner than that, especially if they have an electronic health record or can provide online access through a web-based portal. Your ability to pay for healthcare services has no bearing on your right to see and get your health information. You can request your health information from your health plan, which includes your insurance providers, such as Medicare or Medicaid, or private insurers, or from your health provider, such as your doctor or hospital. You can request it at any time and for any reason. To view additional videos regarding accessing your health information, visit healthit.gov access. For additional materials to assist you in seeing and getting your health information, as well as tips for keeping your health information private and secure, you can visit healthit.gov access. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Office for Civil Rights is responsible for enforcing HIPAA rules. 
they offer additional guidance on their website, similar to the resources linked to in this video. Visit the website of the Office for Civil Rights at hhs.gov OCR to learn more.